Peter Sutcliffe was an English serial killer who was dubbed the Yorkshire Ripper by the press. On the 22nd of May 1981, he was found guilty of murdering 13 women and attempting to murder seven others between 1975 and 1980. He was sentenced to 20 concurrent sentences of life imprisonment, which were converted to a whole life order in 2010. Two of Sutcliffe's murders took place in Manchester, all the others were in West Yorkshire. The search for Sutcliffe was one of the largest and most expensive manhunts in British history, and West Yorkshire police was criticised for its failure to catch him despite having interviewed him nine times in the course of its five-year investigation. Owing to the sensational nature of the case, the police handled an exceptional amount of information, some of it misleading. Following Sutcliffe's conviction, the government ordered a review of the investigation, conducted by the Inspector of Constabulary Lawrence Byford, known as the Byford Report. The findings were made fully public in 2006, and confirmed the validity of the criticism against the force. The report led to changes to investigative procedures that were adopted across UK police forces. And how is this monster linked to TV legend Bruce Jones? Actor Jones who found fame playing Leigh Battersby in Coronation Street had found the mutilated body of the Ripper's fifth victim, 20-year-old Jean Jordan, in 1977, in an allotment in Manchester, where he was working with a friend. Recalling the horrifying moment he found the body, he said, there was two of us, me and this older bloke who managed to get an allotment which we did. We managed to acquire this big shed but it needed a brick base. I'll go and get the bricks for the base, I'll just big building plot over there, I'll go and get bricks and that. And it was on the way there, five times I'd gone, filled the barrow, come back. And the sixth time, there was this body. My mate came over, he couldn't look at it, he was being ill. I ran across the main road and phoned 999. I thought, what do I do, do I go, do I stay? The next minute, I'd never seen so many police cars. Bruce also spoke about how he was questioned by police in connection with Jean Jordan's murder after discovering her body. He said, they asked me if I'd been to Yorkshire. I couldn't remember if I'd been to Yorkshire or not. Where was I in Manchester on such and such a date? I didn't know. Police asked me, why I had a hammer and big chisel and lump hammer in my wheelbarrow? That was to break the bricks up I needed for the base of the shed. Just question after question. Your mind does play tricks on you. It's like where was I? Had I been to Yorkshire? No, I've never been to Yorkshire. Right from the minute you find that body your mind is going faster than you can think. And no, no, no I wasn't there. I wasn't there. You know never been there. Never been there. And in the end, they come in and tell you, get dressed, and we'll run you home, that was it. Sex worker Jean Jordan, who had moved from Scotland, was the Ripper's first victim in Manchester October 1, 1977. He beat the young mother of two eleven times with a hammer in allotments next to Southern Cemetery, dumped her body and threw her bag, containing a brand new five-pound note he gave her, into nearby shrubs. Police found the bag and traced the serial number on the note back to the payroll of Yorkshire Hauliers T and W. H. Clark, who employed Peter Sutcliffe, but when questioned he provided an alibi that he was at a party. Despite interviewing Sutcliffe about the banknote three times, police discounted him as a suspect. Eight days later, allotment holder Jones found Jean's body. She had been decapitated, with her intestines wrapped around her waist. The post-mortem showed that days after the murder, the killer had returned to mutilate Jean Jordan's body further and drag it to a more open position. Jones claims the ordeal led to his marriage to his first wife breaking down in 1982. Sutcliffe, who lived in Bradford, West Yorkshire, believed he was on a mission from God to kill prostitutes, although not all his victims were. His other victims, aged between 16 and 47, included two university students, a civil servant, a bank clerk and a supermarket worker. Sutcliffe was dubbed the Yorkshire Ripper because he mutilated his victims using a screwdriver, hammer and knife. He was also convicted of seven counts of attempted murder in and around Yorkshire, Lancashire and Greater Manchester.